guys, welcome back. Hope everybody's keeping well. Um, sorry if you hear me, but a coldness. I've had the, the cold nearly again. Um, so, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you a wee tube fly. And it's just basically a, a variant of a fly called a tornish. Basically tied in the, the samurai style that uh, my got fruit and tie. So I put a few um, photos up of a couple of flies that are tied with tubes. So this is one of them. And we'll just use how to put it together. Now, what I have in the vase here, this is an ATMH tube fly adapter. Just with the, the tapered hacker gall needle. And then I've got the tubes. So this tube here, the... Uh, fluorescent orange if you like it's a medium and inside the medium is the small and this is just like a, a sunburst light orange colour now the tubes that I use mainly all the time are the emer plastic tubes so as you can see this one here sorry is the medium and the extra small and the extra small goes inside the medium and then for the large it's the small goes inside the large tubes and so on then you just match your whatever comb you want to use to that. So the thread that I'm going to use to tie the tube is just a uni thread 801 white. So just come in just where you've basically tied the where you've tapered the, the two tubes to catch in your thread and then just work this back. You don't have to work it back in open turns. leaving yourself the, the space at the back. Now the tag at the back is a Opal Mirage tinsel. I'm just using a large. Now I'm just going to use the basically the materials that I have to tie the fly. So that's where it becomes a, a variant. So I'm just going to work the Opal Mirage tinsel back and then just come back up just to where I caught it in to there catch that in and trim that away and I'm going to put a rib on the fly I'm just going to use the ultra wire and hot yellow I'm just going to catch this in just to sort of take this up halfway up the body, the thread, just turn in the wire and back down. Then the rear part of the body, I'm just going to use a large uh, holographic gold pencil. Just get off the spool here. slips the way it has there and me just come straight back in don't worry about it happens to us all just work your tinsel back up nice and tight to that point there and catch in your your gold holographic and trim away the waste then at the front here I'm going to use some uh, light bright dubbing in yellow. Put plenty on. That's the, the style of these flies. You, they use plenty of, of uh, dubbing. You don't want to bring it down too far on to the, the tapered part of your tube. Just to there. Then I'm going to bring up a wire. Probably look at four turns up the body. Just to protect the holographic tinsel. And the dubbing. A couple of tight turns will catch those in. Then we can bend and break away the wire. Then I'm just going to come in with my Velcro. And just scrub out 
some of the some of the light bright. You'll just notice them brushing it out down the way so we can get the wing just to sit as low as I possibly can. Now the flies that Michael Froben produces is absolutely fantastic. So this is me just basically tanning, like I say, with the stuff that I have. So this is just some yellow fox that I have here. And I'm just going to pinch this. And then we're just going to thin it out. You want to take all the all the under fur as much of it as possible out. Is really what you want this the the straighter hair. Now the length of the wing. Usually like the the length of this under wing. Around about a length and a half of the tube over the back. So I'm just going to pinch it there on top. Around with a pinch and loop, a couple of turns. Just come out and see how we're, how we're sitting. And I'm happy enough with that. I'm just going to come in and trim away the, trim away the waist. And don't worry about it sitting up at the minute. Then on top of that, I'm just going to put some flesh in. And this is just. Uh, Gold light bright that I'm going to use. Get a couple of nice straight pieces here. Just offer it up to the hook, or sorry, up to the tube. And with a pinch and loop, take a couple of turns, just come in, just fold everything back, and tie up over the top. And then we're just going to come in with our, our scissors. Just taper everything. Any wee loops you can just come in and open those up. If you have angel hair, that's where you would use the, the angel hair at that point. So, but the point of it is that the wing is you want to keep it thin, you don't want it going around the sides of the tube. Then, on top of that, you're just looking some goat dyed orange. See your goat. See the under fur is here. This makes an absolutely fantastic dubbing. Don't be, don't be throwing that away. Makes an absolutely great dubbing, the goat, the under fur. And you've got your your goat. You offer this up on top, just slightly longer. On your your under wing. Catch that in. A couple of turns. Right. Just to see what way we're, what way we're sitting. Just how we check the wing. Yep, happy enough for that. And then you can come in and clip that away. And then you can just tighten up with a couple of turns. Now the, the goat, it does have a tendency to to pull out simply because it doesn't compress. It's a very hard hair so we like a super glue. Just take it down over the cut ends and back up. At this point we're just going to come in and add in some jungle cat. So we've got two eyes here. But we're just going to put them on individually. Usually I put them on together. So we've got our eyes one on this side, on my side, I should say, and then one on your side, just stripping off all the rubbish. Now you just want to check, make sure you get the right length. Just a couple of turns, you don't need to go crazy with the turns of thread. Now just have a wee check just to make sure that they're the same length and you're happy enough with that. I always like the 
the fold the stems back even on tubes. I'll just come in and fold the stems back. Don't be worrying about bulk at this point because you're going to put some dubbing on the front. The main, the main thing here is that you don't, you probably just want to tie your last hackle if you can on the extra small tubing. You want to try and tie most of your, most of your materials onto the, the medium tubing so that you can get your cone to come up and sit right up tight against the, the, the fly. Okay, just that's what I do anyway. Oh, right, so I just want to go back to a wee tiny drop of the yellow light bright. Just come in and pull your jungle cock eyes back. Just nice and tight up to there. I think I want to just sweep it back at this point. Get your thread turns in front. Now the first hackle here, usually it's an ostrich hackle that's used, but I don't have that so I'm just going to use a, this is a large hand hackle. So I'm just going to catch this in at the front, I'm going to fold the tip back, nice and tight, come in and break away the tip. I'm probably looking to turn maybe a turn and a half of this and what I love about this style is because of the dubbings at the front it's just keeping the the haggle nice and opened so that's going to be plenty there let's get rid of some of that extra bulk catch that in nice and tight then we'll come in and trim away the, the waste. Now at this point I just forget everything else. The front haggle is just going to be a the swing dyed orange. It'll probably be the same again here, probably a turn turn and a half. Just the main thing here is guys you don't want to go too far on to your extra small tubing you want the, the cone to be able to sit as tight as you can sorry as tight as it can against the uh, the haggles right, I'm just going to put one more in just going to go back a wee second yeah, so I've had the had an ear infection first, and of course the antibiotics fat, and now I've just taken the the cold. It's not a flu, it's just a just a heavy cold. Now just get this point, just follow this around with your thread, just a couple of tight turns. You want to be building up thread at this point, because that will stop the the cold. the front so just bring everything back bring your thread back nice and tight now, you can see the type of fly you get it that's lovely and when you're tying it with the the, the materials that I go through and use it's even better now, I'm just going to come in with we like a glue on the front so you favor there so you don't need the work finish. Then you can come in and trim away the thread. Now the cone that I'm going to put on is just a gold one. And it's the small. Oh, sorry, this one here. Small. So this is the fits. I'll just get my cone on first. Set it there. Just before I read the cone on, I just want to check. Make sure everything sitting out nice, staying on and then I'm just going to come in, sweep everything back and just a wee drop of super glue and then make 
sure everything's back out of the way. Any wee favors. Just push this tight up. Just a wee favor here. Just want to bring that out. Away from the jungle cock. Just have a wee check. Okay, I'm happy enough for that, so I'm just going to loosen my. We should fly adapter. Bring the tighten that back up. And that's the that's the tube bar guys. Now all you have to do is obviously is you have to trim, you have seen this done before. Just trim the the tubing. Try and do this on camera so you just can see it. Give myself a later. And then we're just gonna mushroom this down. There's a wee hole in it, but I just like to make the hole a wee a wee tad wider with my With the needle, just so that you can get the your leader through it. Just put it back onto the adapter so that you can see it tighten up. And there you go, guys. That's just my variant of Michael Froden's torn uh, tornish, just with the materials that I have. I mean, <coughs> I wouldn't tie tubes that often but there you go that's that wee one I did tie a few other wee ones just wee ones that I made up like a, a chartreuse and black one and then I take I had taken the uh, Calvin's shrimp and just basically tied it in the same design as the as the the samurai fly or the, the style that the samurai style and it's all about that teardrop shape bringing that teardrop shape into the into your flies so there you go guys hopefully I've got something from that um, if you want to see me tan the other ones let me know in the comments um, if you want me to tie the other the other couple of tubes for you or there's any other tubes tube flies that you'd like to see me tie anyway until the next time please stay safe enjoy your fishing and uh, all being well I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.